Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Tuesday. Coming at you with our first break of the day and the first break of my week, 2020 Panini Prism Football 2-box random team break number 17. One spot gets you two teams, all card ships. Pretty, some pretty nice stuff in here. Big thanks to these folks for getting into it. Let's double you up here. And all 32 are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six and a two, eight times for each list. Your names first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eighth and final time. After eight, we've got Aaron down to Natalie. Six and a two, eight times for the teams. One, two. And eighth and final time. After A, we got the Seahawks down to the Cardinals. Now, I did drop the checklist for Prism Football into the chat if you're watching live. If you're not watching live, you can go to uh, groupbreakchecklist.com if you want to follow along if you're rewatching this video. And trades are allowed, of course. All right, so Aaron. With the Seahawks, Gailey got the Cowboys, Walter with the Colts, Natalie with the Niners, Raymond with the Jags, James with the Titans, Gary with the Chargers, Aaron with the Bengals, Hannah with the uh, Steelers, Oliver with the Vikings, Greg with the Buccaneers, Natalie with the Rams, Michael with the Lions, Karen with the Bears, Raymond with the Broncos, Sean with the Eagles, Justin with the Panthers, Walter with the Browns, Michael with the Packers, Justin with the uh, Falcons, Natalie with the Bills, Justin with the Saints, Sean with the Chiefs. Gail with the Jets. Karen, you got my uh, Raiders. Greg with the Giants. Hannah with the Patriots. Gary with the Washington football team. Oliver with the Dolphins. Nice. James with the uh, Texans. Justin with the Ravens. What a wild finish there. Uh, I, I covered because, <laughs> because of that safety. I was really lucky. Natalie with the Arizona football Cardinals. All right, so let's put this all on one page here. And Gary, happy with uh, with the Washington football team. No, he has the Chargers. That's why he's happy. Um, let's slide this down just a little bit right there. Trades are allowed. So I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the two-box break. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back, folks. There were no deals done. A lot of trade chatter, but no deals were done here in our first break of the Tuesday, the 15th. Random team number 17, thanks everyone for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. Okay, Miss, you're saying buyer beware on the hobby? Are you trying to take business away from us? Are you saying don't join Jaspi's group breaks? I'm surely that's not what you mean, right? You, you probably mean it's a great time to buy and invest in products like this because the hobby is continuing to grow exponentially month after month, week, year after year. I'm sure that's what you meant. Yeah, Dan. Dan. Dan got back from uh, Korea after a year, started digging into the collection again, looked on eBay, boom. $1,000 for a box. You should look at some of the old stuff that that you may have, that you've gotten in your collection ages ago. And uh, you may you may be surprised at how how some how some cards may go, how much they may go for. You know, some random rookie card or some random rookie silver or something like that. Um, might go for more than you think. Even like scrub players sometimes could go for like 10, 15 bucks, maybe more. A lot of people, and it's a good way to clean out the collection, especially during the holidays when people are looking for stuff. 
Lynn Bowden Jr. for Karen. Then we've got to Michael Hasey and Julian Aguara. We'll sleeve those up in a second. And all of these cards will ship. There's Derek Carter, 199. Donovan Peoples Jones, Jalen Ragor. And, ooh, do we have the RPA here? Is that Eagles? Is that, oh, that's Jalen Ragor, though. Not, not bad. One, two, three, four color patch and autograph. Ooh. Yeah, it's crazy. You, you gotta you gotta treat it like the stock market, Dan. You gotta be careful. Thirty eight out of ninety nine, Jalen Ragor. It's got a new quarterback that goes to the Eagles. That'll be for Sean Maddock. And I have to say. I was watching that game, and uh, Jalen Hurts looked pretty good. Now, this was his debut. Sometimes sometimes those guys can sneak up on you, but let's see. Uh, Miles Sanders had a good game, too. Let's see how he does in his second game. I think they'll be in, in Arizona, maybe. There's Jared Goff to 75. So it'll be interesting to see if he can keep that up for for multiple games in a row. Yeah, Miguel, yeah, Lynn Bowden Jr. was drafted by the Raiders. Um, and it just didn't work out. I think there were some off-the-field issues that the Raiders weren't comfortable with. 9 out of 10, Keenan Allen and his teammate Josh Kelly to 125. So yeah, so I think I think that's kind of I'm surprised it hasn't happened to more teams, or maybe it hasn't. I just don't know about it. But there's Jamison Crowder to 199, maybe not a player drafted as as high, but I think that this is one of those things where they just couldn't meet people face to face, you know, and just really vet players like they normally would do in a non-pandemic year. So I think that might have had something to do with it, and I think. Maybe if they were still in Oakland, maybe they would have just kind of see how it worked out. But with the temptations of Las Vegas, I think I don't think they they wanted to risk that. Yeah, I I, I agree, Jameis. I I think he he looked pretty good. Jalen Hurts looked pretty good and. Uh, Looked pretty good in in not only on the field but in the interviews as well, press conferences. Ooh, this looks pretty good too. Look at that, Justin Simmons, five out of five gold vinyl for uh, for the Broncos, my rivals, Raymond. Out of fives and under, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. And you got DeAndre Swift and Albert Okoebanum. Yeah, so now the big question is, I mean, I think we still have to see, you know, a couple more, a few more games out of, out of Jalen Hurts before we crown him the starter and move on from Wentz, right? But how many years does Wentz have left on his deal? That's the thing. It's like people play teams who need quarterbacks. I feel like they can just wait out the year or two and snag Wentz for cheaper, you know. And you know the and the Eagles are left with a very competent backup quarterback, which I guess isn't bad if if they can afford it. Or conversely, yeah, someone like New England maybe might say, hey. Uh, you know, we'll we'll trade assets and get Wentz out there. But yeah, I have a feeling that they would rather just try Stidham for a year or two than Wentz. And then if they want to go for Wentz, they can just get him for cheap. But like, you can't really do anything until 
right? Until the offs. I mean, I guess the Eagles would just have to release him if the. I doubt they would just release him because they would be on the hook for so much money. I think that contract's kind of unmovable. You know, unless like. Then you've got to justify that big contract to your fan base if you trade for him in the off season. So let's say Frank Reich. I think the Colts would be an interesting landing spot. But if you know Frank Reich has worked with Wentz before, and they're actually really close, um, so uh, you know, does does Frank Reich move mountains to try to get Wentz out there and get the best out of him? That might be a good landing spot. Would make a little more sense in New England, I would think, especially since New England has Stidham out there. Broncos, I think the Broncos. I don't know. They like Drew. Do they like Drew Locke? I don't know. A lot of teams could use a quarterback. Right, they'd have to... In, that's right, I think a few of our my co-workers here are big Eagles fans. And I think they were saying it's, it's just like a huge amount of money that the Eagles would have to eat like, to the tune of like 40, 50, 60 million dollars or something crazy like that. So, yeah. contract's tough to move. Cheap QB from free agency, do those exist? Says Cascade. It might if if you're if you're Carson Wentz and you're sitting on the bench for a couple years. Andy Dalton, I guess, was a cheap QB. I, I would argue that Carson's better than Andy Dalton, no? Right, you gotta give at least yeah, Birch, I agree. I feel like you I feel like the I feel like New England has to give Stidham at least a shot for the season, for a season, and see and see what happens. Maybe this, the, maybe the 2021 draft for the Patriots, you try to try to find a QB in the in the late rounds, like a like a Dak Prescott or something like that. Otherwise, they can kind of look in the free agency more. There's gonna be a lot of QB turn turnover in the next two to three years. I think it'll be pretty interesting. All right, here's the second and final box of this quick little two-box break. We got Julian Blackman to 199. We got Roquan Smith with the Bears to 249. Yeah, Arturo is saying that Cardinals, Eagles have a decent schedule down the stretch. It'll be interesting. To see, it'll be interesting to see how that NFC East shakes out. Depending on how some scenarios go, I think the Eagles have to win out. I think and maybe have Washington lose a game. This is what I was chatting with Nick yesterday, Nick Jaspi. I think that's what it is. If Washington loses a game and they win out, then the that final game with the Washington football team. There's Jimmy G. I mean, do they move on from Jimmy G? The Niners, that's another quarterback. Um, Jimmy G will go to Natalie. Then that Eagles-Washington game, to finish the thought, would, would decide the NFC East. Yes, Ter Trevor Lawrence, Dan, will be pretty interesting. There's Michael Gallup to 149. You know, does, does he definitely go to the Jets? Jets stuff would be pretty expensive next year if that were the case. There's Mika Fitzpatrick to 199. All right, Arturo saying as an Eagles fan, he doesn't want winning out to actually happen. And there's Devin Bush. For the Steelers, nice Steelers autograph going to Hannah. Nice Devin Bush. Come on, any uh, any Justin Herberts or Tua's here? There's Fred Warner to 249. A Jalen Hurts, a Joe Burrow. Lining up on both sides. Long term, I would say 
We got a KJ Hamler for the Broncos. That'll be for Raymond. You know, that is true, Calvin. Yeah, uh, Calvin saying if the Patriots lose to the Jets in Week 17, the Jags get Lawrence. No way Pats want Lawrence in their division. Yeah, there could be, there could definitely be some, some gamesmanship there. I could definitely see that. Right? Why would you help? You know, your division rival potentially get a, a, uh, a transcendent franchise-changing quarterback potentially. There's Tremaine Edmonds to 99. We got Bryce Love. We got Todd Gurley, Red Wave to 149. We got my guy Brian Edwards and Julian Blackman again. And no, none of the top QBs, huh? Well, we got two more boxes left. There's Cam Akers. We got two more boxes left from this particular case. So if you want to run this back, we definitely can. That was two box random team 17 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Joe, and I'll break the other two with you next time. Bye-bye.